going to hurt you one bit. Just relax and sleep. Sleep, sleep, sleep. And in the morning, you'll find yourselves in your new hole. Ain't it my pitch? <laughs>
Good morning, Doc. What you got there? Island. I found some new friends. Listen. What? You better be careful. They can sing a man to death. Don't worry. We understand each other. They know who their friend is. They can tell. Yeah, but they know when you ain't, too. Uh, if you knew about what, what I know, you'd have no fear of them, my boy. No fear. <laughs> Then what's all this nonsense about what? I'm so glad you dropped in, Mr. Vaca. Mr. Vaca, I'm on the verge of a great discovery. Discovery? What do you mean? Well, sir, I almost perfected a new method of extracting royal jelly from the queen wasp. According to my figures, you're better at extracting funds from the company. Now look here, Zinthrop, over a thousand dollars last month for miscellaneous. Yes, yes, I know, but Mr. Barker, let me just show you something. Just let me show you something. Already I've learned to slow the process of aging. Soon, I shall be able to reverse it entirely. What are you getting at, Zinthrop? Look, what do you see? You see a big dog and a little dog. Let's say an old dog and a young dog. All right. So what? Well, they're exactly the same age. You see, the little one, Greta, has been given regular injections of my compound from the Queen Wasp. Just like I told you, Mr. Barker. Now look here, Zentrum. I understand about science and progress and all that, but... You were obtained to extract Queen Bee Royal Jelly. Now, it's a health food, a, a cosmetic. It, it's not a, a miracle drug or an elixir of youth. That sort of thing is impossible. Oh, but Mr. Fark is... Zentrup, I, I'm sorry, Zentrup, but I'm going to have to let you go. You just don't seem to be one of the team. 
You understand. Good luck. I'm sure you'll fit in somewhere. Fit in. Somewhere. gentlemen, sales for the last fiscal quarter have dropped. Fourteen and one half percent. There has not been a corresponding drop in our competitor sales. I trust one of you gentlemen has a satisfactory explanation for this decline. Not one little suggestion, gentlemen. We'll start with you, Thompson. As public relations manager, no doubt you have some faint glimmering of what's happening to Stalin products. Well, Thompson? Well, you see, I, uh... I had no idea you were such an excellent public speaker, Thompson. Oh, I'm sorry, Miss Darlin. I guess I'm not feeling very well this morning. I'm sorry you aren't. I think I can tell you why Stalin products are falling off so badly, Miss Darlin. We're listening, Lane. Where would you put the responsibility for this decline? On you, Miss Stalin. I imagine you have arguments to support that contention. We've all been looking at it for the past 20 minutes. The most convincing argument is right on that graph. May I show you? Thank you. Now, right here in April is when Stalin sales started falling off. Very clever of you, Lane. Would you mind waiting until I finish, Miss Stalin? That's enough, Lane. Relax, Willis. My apologies for the interruption. Go on. Thank you. Now, as I said, sales began to fall in April. But the reason for the fall was back here in February. Now, the Stalin products have always been thought of as something of a, a modern miracle in the cosmetics trade. A firm built to a multi-million dollar a year business on the strength and appeal of, of one person, Janice Stalin. From the beginning right through until February of this year, only one woman's face was used to advertise those products. Your face, Miss Stalin. The public has come to accept you as a, as a symbol. Well, now, after 16 years, they see a different face. They, they don't trust it. They feel cheated. The simple fact is that Stalin Cosmetics should have Janice Stalin's picture advertising them. Well, that's about all I've got to say. A uh, darn good job of saying it, too. I agree. Uh, Lane makes a lot of sense on that score, Miss Stalin. I think I've had enough flattery for one morning, gentlemen. It's was a very convincing argument, Lane. Tell them Mr. Jester to see Miss Stalin. There's only one small factor you've overlooked. Not even Janice Stalin. Remain a glamour girl forever. Miss Darling. Yes, Mary. There's a Mr. Zinthrop in reception. He says he has an appointment. Thank you. Huh? Well, it's been a very informative get together. Thank It'll you. be all for now. Jelly, haven't you? Oh, a little. 
In a few minutes, madame, you shall see a miracle you shall not believe. Oh, no tricks. <laughs> you may look if you like. I have no tricks. Well, don't look at me. <laughs> I'm not changing. Darling, does my 
I, uh, secret, have interest for you, yes? What are your terms, Mr. Zinter? First, I must have a laboratory equipped with everything I need for my research. If we're successful, well, I ask for a little percentage. But I must get full credit for my discovery. That is most important to me. I'll have Gordon draw up the contract. Oh, contracts, contracts, I do not need to give me your word. Good enough for me. You amazed me. Frankly, when I received your letter, I thought you were just a, another eccentric. But there was always a chance you might not be. Then you walk in here and show me nothing short of a miracle. Two miracles. And you say that you'll accept my word that I won't cheat you. You won't. I know you're a good woman, even if you do not like other people to know it. However, uh, my formula may not be good for human beings. I have not tested yet. You will on me. Oh, no, 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 no. There might be danger. Those are my terms, Mr. Sinclair. Janice Stalin will be your next guinea pig. Though it may take a little time to prepare sufficient extract, a week, maybe more. I'll make whatever arrangements you may need for your equipment. Thank you, madame. Now I see how you built all this. <laughs> I'm very close to losing it, Mr. Zinter. Maybe working together we can save Janice Starlin Enterprises. Maybe even make it bigger than ever before. Yes. Oh, yes. I'm sure the next three months we'll see a rise in Starlin sales that will surpass anything we've dared imagine. Mr. Zinthrop is working on the final stages of a development that will revolutionize the cosmetic industry. He's to have a free hand in his experiments and will be answerable to no one but myself. At the moment, I cannot divulge the nature of Mr. Zinthrop's experiments, but I can assure you it will bring worldwide recognition to Janice Starlin Enterprises. Well, almost. Mm -hmm. 
Good morning. Janet Starlin Enterprises. I got two words for you. Drop dead. Twice. Irving, calls me to tell me Dr. Cyclops is on Channel 9 tonight. Oh, I've seen it twice already. Good morning. Is, uh, is Miss Darling in her office now? Hmm? Oh, Miss Darling's in conference. Would you like to speak to her secretary? Oh, no, no, no. Just say to Miss Darling, I should like to see her when she has time, huh? Yes. Was there something else, Mr. Zinsman? No, no, no. Goodbye. has carte blanche to order anything he requires. It is no concern of yours, Gleason. Make out a check for the full amount. Why is it taking so long? It's the third week. 
You forget, my dear, there's more to you than a little kitten, no? Besides, there's a difference in metabolism. Why not increase the dosage? Wouldn't that step up the process? Patience, my dear, patience. We must tread lightly with care, Your Honor.
What is it, Maureen? It is you, Miss Dunn. Of course it's me. Who did you think it was? Well, you, you look so different. Finish your nails. Maureen. Hmm? I think your phone is ringing. Oh. Yes, Miss Darling. Good morning. Janice Darlin Enterprises. Gentlemen, Janice Darlin Enterprises is about to start on the most widespread publicity campaign in the history of the cosmetic industry. Our slogan will be, Return to Youth with Janice Darlin. When Mrs. Zinthrop arrives, there will be a press interview and all questions regarding the rejuvenation process will be referred to him. That'll be all for now, gentlemen. It's amazing. Why, it's wonderful. You may look smart. I said that will be all for now, gentlemen. Good morning. Oh, not you, Mary. Wait a moment, please. Yes, Miss Darling. Isn't it wonderful? It's a miracle. A wonderful, incredible miracle. We were so worried about you. We really thought you were in danger. <laughs> we even went to plotting how to, how to rescue you from Mr. Zentrup. <laughs> it all seems so silly. It seems ridiculous. Oh, Mary. Mary, how old do I look? Tell me. How old? How old do I look? Tell me. Twenty-three, maybe twenty-two. Uh, tw <sighs> That's how old I was when I started Janice Darling Enterprises. Do you realize what that means? I'm back where I started, eighteen years ago, with what it took eighteen years to accomplish. <sighs> it's like a dream.
wasn't a, a conventional employee. He didn't go through regular personnel. Uh-huh. You say he came here about a month ago. Well, how did he come here, Miss Starlin? He just didn't walk in off the street, did he? The letter. Right here in my drawer. Maybe uh, one of the other drawers. So that's what she meant. But who meant? Miss Starlin. The letter's been taken, and you think you know who took it, is that right? My secretary, Miss Tennyson. You got her address handy? Her phone number. It might be better if I busted in on her cold. This way she'll have a chance to prepare a story. I know what I'm doing. All right. Mary? Janice Starlin. Before I went to lunch, I made a duplicate copy of Mr. Zinthrop's letter. I was going to take that one to Bill and Mr. Cooper at first. But then I thought that the original would be better. Have you got the copy? Yes, it's in my desk. Get that copy, Miss Dennison. Uh-huh. 946 West 73rd Street, Manhattan. Yeah, that's right. Get right on it, Jerry, and check back with me as soon as you can. Sure, he's our boy. Uh-huh. Is he? 
Central emergency. Mm-hmm. Right. Well, it looks like we've got him. This is John Doe down at Central Emergency, auto accident. There's no identification on him, but he was wearing a lab smock and Phil Zinthrope's description. Mary, get my coat and let get a cab downstairs. He badly hurt. Head injury, general contusion to the body. He's had a severe injury and there's definite brain damage. Just how much, we can't tell as yet. How long before you'll know? It's hard to say, Miss Talley. Who's the best man for this kind of injury? Well, there are several top specialists. Get the best. I'll take full responsibility for these steps. Yes, Miss Darling. Uh... I don't know, Arthur. I think it best we wait. It's been three days since the accident, Jan. And no sign of improvement. He's still in a coma. You heard what the doctor said. He may never regain consciousness. And even if he does, who knows how badly his brain has been damaged. Well, I'll give it another 48 hours. He doesn't regain consciousness by then. Well, you can take over the laboratory, Arthur. Uh, Janet. It's my decision. Business, you know. Max is right, Miss Starlin. 
Don't have to second the motion. I want one thing understood very clearly now, gentlemen. Janice Darwin Enterprises is going to bring the most fantastically saleable product ever developed by Martin Cosmetics to the public. And I don't intend to be restricted by timidity on the part of my own staff. Is that clear? Are you all right, Miss Darwin? Just a, just a little headache, Mary. I'm fine. Can I get you something? I'm all right. I'm all right. Thank you. I have some aspirin in my purse. It's all right, Mary. Well, that'll be all for now, Jack. joining yours, so there'll be someone near you at all times. Thank you. Thank you. When you're feeling better, Mr. Vincent, there are a few things I'd like to discuss with you. Good, good. Uh. We'll do everything we can to make you comfortable, Mr. Zinter. Uh. I'm going to spend the nights here in my office. So if anything develops, I'll be at hand. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Stop. Only, only there's something. Uh, I must tell you something important. But important, but uh, I cannot remember. Uh, I'm sure it can wait. Right now, the main thing is to get you back to health. Take good care of him, Miss Warren. Yes, Miss Darling. Sure is funny about old Coop. And this is one day of work, and you're ready to call him in person. Well, he's a pretty conscientious guy, honey. If he felt sick or something, he'd have called in. Relax. We'll probably be in bright and chipper in the morning. Interrupting something? Oh, uh, we were just having a little coffee clutch, Miss Darling. We were talking about Mr. Cooper. 
What about Mr. Cooper? Well, about his missing the meeting this morning. Nobody's been able to reach him all day. I wouldn't worry about that. Mr. Cooper's been here a long time. Probably feel he's entitled to take a day for himself now and then. That's what I've been trying to tell Mr. Lane. Oh, by the way, Miss Starlin, how is Mr. Zinthrop? Oh, fine. In a few days, we'll uh, start the layout of the campaign. Oh, I'm ready when you are, boss. Look those over. Hey, Bill. Huh? Don't go getting any ideas about the boss. Well, me? Don't be silly. I just wanted to know that I'm an eager member of the team. Still, she is looking a lot younger these days, isn't she? Do you think Zinthrop would give you any of those treatments? You know, break the watch or something? You've got to help me. Something's happening. Something's happening to me. I can't control it. There is something I must remember, but I, I can't. Try to think. The wasp enzyme. The, the extracts you, you were experimenting with before the accident.
Is he asleep? I don't know. No, don't touch him. If anybody knows what's behind all this, it's him. Mr. Zinthrop. Bill. to be alarmed about, Mr. Sinter. I'm Bill Lane, and this is Miss Dennis and Miss Starlin's secretary. Miss Starlin? The cat? What about a cat? Must warn her. Injections. Must not take any more injections. Is Miss Starlin in danger? Terrible danger. I, I was... Take it easy, Mr. Sinter. Uh, You're still pretty weak. Mary, see if you can get Jan on the phone. All right. Now, Mary, you're just getting a little excited. Now, who could 
possibly want to hurt Mr. Coop? I don't know. But not only Mr. Cooper. What about... Oh, look! Laboratory. She's going to laboratory. I got the stairs back. Oh, 